what's going on youtube make sure you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button man it's free it don't cost you none why you still ain't hit it you just sitting here listening to the video and you ain't hit the subscribe button yet don't be a player hater man hit that subscribe button let's go what's handing youtube i got another great video for you guys talking about the individual the rapper the artist the late great trife gang rich if you guys have never heard of trife gang rich you're probably living under a rock or you're not from Northern California. Trife Gang Rich was an artist out of a small town called Woodbridge. Woodbridge, California. It's in the Central Valley. It's by Lodi, which is by Stockton. And, um, you know, he carried himself like that. You could tell he kind of from that Stockton area, the way he, you know, the way he rapped, the way he talked, the way he walked. You know what I'm saying? He had that Stockton swag to him. You know what I'm saying? Trife Gang Rich passed away coming up on two years next month. So I felt I had, it was only right that I did this video for bro. Um, yeah, like I said, it's been two years, but we still going to keep his name lit. If you guys haven't checked out Trife Gang Rich's uh, music after this video, I highly suggest you do that. Before Trife Gang Rich unfortunately passed away, his music was going up, bro. He was doing numbers. He was dropping music video after music video. And in my humble opinion, I think he would have been more popping than the northern hispanic rappers that we have right now now that's no disrespect that's no shots at nobody but the northern hispanic rappers that we have right now coming out of northern california i think trife gang rich would have been more popping than these dudes you know what i'm saying you know you got the gbs the acitos the lazy boys out of san ho rico like you know what i'm saying like no shot no shots to them dudes bro that's no diss at them but in my humble opinion, I think Trife Gang Rich would have been more popping than them dudes. You know what I'm saying? His music was already doing numbers when he passed his unfortunate death due to drug use. You know what I'm saying? Them Zans ain't no joke, bro. Them Zans ain't no joke. No joke. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Trife Gang Rich, bro. Trife Gang Rich was most definitely a real one. He wasn't no Fugazi, bro. He wasn't no Fugazi. He grew up in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? In and out of the system, you know, like the rest of us, juvenile hall, county jail, in and out of the pr them prison systems, you know what I'm saying, from behind them prison walls, you know what I'm saying, you done prison time, you feel me, a, a couple terms, to my understanding, you know, so it was a real one, solid, solid individual, stood ten toes down every time, you feel me, with the business, bro, a real dude, real solid dude. And he he wasn't he was he was young too you feel me he was in his mid twenties when he passed, and 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 he went through all that at a very young age you feel me so he had a lot to rap about he had a, he had his story he had a lot to tell you feel me in his story in his music and he put all that pain all that trauma all all that all that hatred into his music and you can hear it in his music you can feel it in your soul you feel me when you listen to his music he wasn't just no rapper that was just rapping. He's a street dude that happened to rap. Let me say that again for the slow niggas in the back. He wasn't no rapper that was just rapping just to rap. He was a street nigga that just happened to rap. You feel me? And he did numerous videos with AWACS. You guys all know who AWACS is. You know, one of Woody's homeboys. Another late, great northern rapper. Woody's homeboy AWACS. You know, fucked with the homie Traff Gang Rich. Dumb Tough. As well as Gold Toes. All you guys know who Gold Toes is. From, from the San Francisco area, man. Uh, Gold Toes signed him to a distribution deal. And I believe, to my understanding, that Gold Toes put the play together to get Trife Gang Rich a distribution deal or, or some, some type of dealing in the works with the uh, Empire. You know, Empire's huge, bro. Empire got all the big artists in the industry right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, he, he was signed through GT Digital, Gold Toes G Digital, as well as Empire. So he was getting that money through music, man. You know what I'm saying? He was taking it serious. And and, and all the all the all the stars were aligning. You feel me? All the stars were aligning. Everything was everything was going the way they were supposed to go. And I seen that he said in the interview that everything that he was doing within this rap gang shit, right? Rap gang shit, man. He he envisioned it in prison. He sat down in his cell, planned it out. And came home and executed. Man, dope, man. It's unfortunate he's not here to continue with his vision. But, yeah, he said in the interview, he sat down, said, man, I'm going to name my shit Trife Gang because we some trifling-ass young niggas. And all my niggas, we're going to be Trife Gang this, Trife Gang that. 
and he came home. That's what he did, and he executed, and they was popping, bro. They was popping when a couple years before he passed away, and then, you know what I'm saying, the unfortunate shit had to happen. But, yeah, man, like I said, I believe he would have been bigger than all these other Northern California rappers. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. I think he would have been the one to carry the torch. Because right now, GB's carrying the torch for Northern Hispanic rappers. I think it would have been Trife Gang Rich. You feel me? Before GB. You know what I'm saying? That's just my humble opinion. No shots towards GB. What do you guys... If you guys listen to Trife Gang Rich, do you think uh, he would have been the one to carry the torch other than GB? Or do you think GB still carrying that torch as far as Northern Hispanic rappers? You know what I'm saying? GB from Merced. Shout out, dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, dude. I still haven't went to go check out his store. I'm going to go check out his store. I've been bullshit. I'm supposed to bingo do that. I'm going to do that, though. But, so, what do you guys think of Trife Gang Rich music? If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. What's your favorite song by dude? It's his two-year heavenly anniversary coming up next month. So, rest in peace. Shout out to all the Trife Gang guys out there, man. Doing, doing your thing. Still holding it down. I salute y'all. And let us know in the comments. Who you think is the dopest Northern Hispanic rapper out of Northern California right now? You feel me? These perkins says the only way to heal the pain. Ooh, I'm losing all my niggas to the gunplay. The only thing the streets ever gave was a heartbreak. I suck a died at a young age. And GLD, I hope that ain't me. But one day, and God is good for letting me make it a 25. I got niggas doing the same amount of time. I got word my older homie just dropped out Hardest pressure, I'm losing breath like I've drowned I'm risking 25 with an L just to get the bag Just to fuck it off and get it back They saying that this rap shit might make it out the streets But fuck it nigga, I'm still thugging in these streets, it's rich